A Valley teen murdered and her father's marathon effort to find her killer. Good evening, Arizona. I'm Heather Moore. And I'm Fields Mosley. Police have few clues and no leads in the death of Brianna Wells. Tonight, for the very first time, we are hearing from the Wells family as they search for some answers. Mike Watkins, live in Phoenix, with this story. Mike? Uh, yeah, Fields, we were in South Phoenix just a couple of days after Christmas when the body of young 17 year old Brianna Wells was found dumped in an alleyway. And today, we were with Brianna's still grieving father as he registered for this weekend's rock and roll marathon, a race that he's dedicating to his daughter. I run and I, I thought I had a really strong uh, leaning to do a run for my daughter after she was murdered. When some 20,000 runners set off Sunday on the annual P.F. Chang's Rock and Roll Marathon, among the ranks will be an ASU professor by the name of David Wells, a man who late last month got himself a crash course in heartbreak when his beloved 17-year-old daughter Brianna was found brutally murdered, her body dumped in an alleyway in South Phoenix. How are you doing, David? So, well, it depends on the day. I mean, sometimes uh, I do pretty well, and sometimes uh, you think about, you know, that she's, you know, it's been almost three weeks and she's still not here, and she's not going to be back, and it's just, uh, you know, those are difficult. And, well, she, she was a really uh, sensitive kid. Uh, she really picked up on things uh, a lot, and she could be really spontaneous and funny. And for David and his family, the pain compounded by the fact that the killer or killers of his daughter are still out there. I sometimes will, you know, be crying while I'm running. Sometimes it's emotion will come over me, and I, it's just, uh, but it's it's something that helps me work through it. And on Sunday, David will be running alongside family friend Congresswoman Kirsten Cinema, seen here with Brianna, along with several other friends, all wearing a T-shirt designed in Brianna's memory, and bearing a phrase that her father says she loved, "Never forget how truly amazing." You really are. We'd like to have people come forward, and I, and I think you know, for a lot of people's closure, it's really important to try to get a sense about what happened to her. And for me, it's even more important that whoever killed her could kill somebody else or harm somebody else. And that's actually, uh, I can't bring Brianna back, but I, it's really important that what happened to Brianna not happen again. Yeah, we talked to Phoenix police about this case today. Still very much an ongoing investigation. They tell us the leads are few and far between. They're pleading with the public, anyone with any information, contact the Phoenix Police Department or silent witness. In downtown Phoenix, I'm Mike Watkins for 3TV.